All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna break down the four-step approach. All right, guys, so the four-step approach is a very common approach in bowling. I personally use it, a lot of bowlers use it, and today we're gonna break down the four main components of this approach. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the starting position. It's really important to have a good starting position because it's gonna set you up for the whole shot. If you don't have a good starting position, it's gonna be easier to make more mistakes throughout the approach. If you have a good standing position, it's gonna be really easy to be more consistent throughout the approach. So a good starting position, it's more on the athletic side. So you wanna have a little bit, your knees bent a little bit, your feet just staggered. Even though we're talking about footwork, the way you stand on the approach is key. If you're leaning way too forward or leaning way too back, it's gonna directly affect the steps you're taking on the approach. All right guys, so now that we have a good solid starting position, we're gonna talk about the first step which for the four step approach is really important because it's the crossover step. So the crossover step is really important because it's gonna create the space to get the ball into the swing. So when it comes to the crossover step, you don't wanna overdo it. You don't wanna do it too much. The what you wanna do is keep it as simple as possible. The, the less movement you have is gonna be the best because it's gonna be the less moving parts and it's gonna lead up to a better approach overall. So you just want to have somewhere in between, not too straight, not too, not crossing way too much. You just want to have somewhere in the middle. All right, guys. So the second step is a straightforward, just a normal step, straight, and it's going to lead up to a most important one, which is the power step. So a lot of people think that the power comes with the arm, but in reality, all the power comes from your footwork. So having that power step is really important to have that knee bend because it's gonna, it's gonna help you to generate all that power. So you wanna feel like you are bending enough because that bending is gonna lead into the slide. So you wanna feel like you have that like enough pressure so you can get all that power through your slide. All right guys, so the final step on the approach is the slide. So you wanna make sure you're sliding straight. It's really important because it's gonna lead up to a strong finish position. You don't wanna slide too much to the right, too much to the left, because that's gonna lead to inconsistency. So once you're sliding straight, you also wanna focus on posting your shot. That half knee bend at the end of the approach keep your tray leg down, and that's gonna help you to have consistent shots. All right guys, so there you go. This is the four step approach breakdown. You have all the tips you need. Please let us know in the comments if you use a four step approach, five step approach. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.